In this lesson, we will learn how to insert or remove edges. One of the poly modeling features that I use most of the time, regardless of what, uh, whether I'm using ZBrush or Maya or anywhere else, is inserting and removing attributes. It's a great way to locally increase or decrease details levels in your models. So let's see how it works in ZModeler. So I have here a simple model, this is, which is basically a, uh, like a sphere with a lot of poly, uh, like, a, like faces and edges and vertices. So first thing what I will do over here is I will turn on my wireframe. I will just press shift and F to turn on my wireframe. You can see that. Sometimes what happens when you turn on your wireframe, you don't see the lines. You have to make sure in your icon of your wireframe. Let me go to a different, uh, yeah. Now if you will see here, you have line and fill. So if your line is not uh, selected, so it will not show the line. Or if your fill is not selected, it will not show you the poly colors here. So make sure both of them are like selected. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to bring up my Z modeler brush. So the shortcut is B, B for brush, Z, Z for Z modeler, and then M, which is the shortcut for this. So I will have the Z modeler brush now. Now to insert the edge loop, let me zoom in a bit here. I have to work on the edge. So I can go to any edge, press space bar, and make sure insert option is selected, and single edge loop is selected if you want to add a single edge loop. So now, how the edge loop is added. So if I want to add an edge loop over here, so I have to select a perpendicular edge to this area, which can be this, which can be this, or this. So as soon as I will click any one of these perpendicular areas, so you will see that edge is created across it. One more thing you can do here is that click, but just, but just don't click it. Click and drag. So clicking and dragging will help you to slide that edge loop. So you can leave wherever you want, in the middle or in the, on the top or in, at the bottom. So totally up to you. So this is one more thing you can do while inserting this. Now, this is if you want to add a single edge loop. What if you want to add multiple edge loops? So let me undo that. Go to any edge, space bar, and instead of single edge loop, I will this time I will select multiple edge loops. And once I will do that, it will give me some more options here. But uh, first, I will use the interactive resolution at this stage and don't worry about the, any other options over here. So let's see what is the interactive resolution. Interactive resolution, while you're clicking and dragging, will help you to add as many points you, or as many edges you want. So if I will go here and click on any perpendicular one and I can click drag up and down and you can see as I'm click, uh, dragging up or down it is adding edge loops as many I want okay so that's the interactive multiple edge loop other edge loop method over here multiple one is a specified uh, resolution suppose 8 now 8 is there now what I will do is that if I will go back here click on it so it will give me the 8 number of the segments here so I cannot click and drag. So it will not give me uh, any other thing. The click and drag will not work if you have specified number here. So this is just a different way of like a uh, way of controlling how much density of you are inserting into this mesh. So I uh, like a single loop, or you can add multiple loops, multiple loops interactive, multiple loops uh, like spe like specified like resolution that you want. Now, there are a few other options in that menu that you can uh, see, okay? Like if I will go over here somewhere, and you can see there are more of the options here, but most of them are a little bit advanced, and I really don't use those uh, very often. So what I've shown you is that what I use 99% of the time. So usually I don't go to those options, basically this one. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So I don't go to these most of the time. I just select these. And this is what I use 99%. Uh, so 
okay so that's inserting and removing edges if you are uh, inserting edges now if you want to remove edge what you simply do over here to remove edges you just have to simply go to the edge that you want to remove you have to just press alt on your keyboard and click on that edge and that will be removed so i can remove as many edges i want or what i can do here is that i can click and drag and that will do the same thing here. And quickly, I have removed all the edges. Maybe, you know, if I will zoom out a bit here and let's remove some existing one. Like, I don't want this one. So I can press Alt and I can click on here. So it will remove that one. And you can see the face is now changed from top and bottom because there is no edge uh, over here. So, same thing if I will press Alt, click on this. So this will be removed. So now you can see how it's been done. And you can add your own now if you want. Like if I will click over here to perpendicular to this area. Okay. And like now the direction is different. So if I click here, so it will create those eight uh, edge loops over here because my option here is specified resolution eight. But if I will go to single edge loop and let's undo this one and click over here. So it will add a single one here. Okay, so that's uh, inserting and removing edges. Hopefully you can see that this is a great way to create a foundation for more complicated shapes. And by removing edges, you can simply model that might be too complex. So, you know, you can remove edges and make it simpler because what you're doing is that you're removing number of the polygons here. So I hope you have understood about the edge loops, how to add them or remove them inside the z motor and if you have liked the video please click on the like button and also please share my videos with your friends and uh, on your social media accounts so i can get more subscriber also click on the bell icon so next time when i will upload my new lessons so you can uh, follow that up and uh thanks a lot for your support until the next time uh take care of yourself and we'll see meet in the next class. Thanks everyone and bye.